Good morning. It's a fabulous Tuesday morning. And I just got back from a fabulous conference over the weekend with my mentor. His name's Kirk Duncan. He's phenomenal. And one of the things that kind of came up because of some of the people I met is... Well, today may be an emotional one. Is depression. And how prevalent it is. But what's been interesting is as I've been reading and learning more about depression and studying it, it's always preceded by anxiety. The events that may be going on create this unknowing, overwhelming feeling of anxiety. We just don't know what to do. We don't know how to handle it. We don't know the steps to take. And therefore, because we don't know, then it leads to depression. To where we just shut down. Where we just, we're done. We just want to say we're done. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to get out of bed. We don't want to pursue any of our passions or our dreams because of this anxiety that shut us down. So what's happened is we never didn't handle this back here. And so it led to this. And with that problem, if we can't handle something, it, it creates this overwhelm. We're like going into, okay, what, what, is the, what are the steps? What must I do? How do I do it? When do I do it? What's going to happen? We, we get all of these overwhelming things. This could be a, an event that's happened in your past. It could be something that's happened just recently. It could be a divorce. It could be abuse. It could be your child is really struggling in an area. There's all kinds of things that can create this anxiety. And to fight that, we need information. And so we start looking for that information. You know, we, we will go to friends, we'll go to family, we'll go to other people. And then as we gain that information, that calms this anxiety. However, when we don't have this information, or we shut down, and this is the problem that happens, is we shut down. Well, then we go into this state of depression because we don't deal with what it is. We don't know where to turn to sometimes or we're afraid others, what others may think. And that's a, you know, what we call watum. What others think about me. And so we shut down because let's say it's a divorce. And in this divorce the other person is just really liked. Let's just say they're really liked. They've got this personality that everybody loves. They just really get along with them. They think they're fantastic. And yet, he is the problem. He's created these lies. These lies are shared. And he's telling other people, you know, I don't know why she left me. I do this and I do this and I do this. When in reality, he could be an absolute creep. Doing things that are unheard of. Behind locked doors. They don't see that. And because of your own personality and being the enduring and naturing type of person, you shut down 
You don't know what to do. And you're worried about what others are thinking. You start... You, you allow them to listen to the lies and instead of you standing up and saying that's false, you just go into a cave. You just go into this dark cave and pretend like, oh, it's okay. And you try to put on this fake smile. This fake smile of, uh, you know, trying to assume that you're happy. But you can see that this is fake and you know it's fake and the more you the more you put on the more that these lies come out the more you shut down and go into your cave then you go into deep depression and this depression can be serious this depression could cause you to need to go get some medication because you have not the capability to even deal with life. And so some people, they go into mental, they have a mental breakdown and they go into mental rehab areas where they're safe so that they don't commit suicide and they don't harm themselves or others. Well, this area of shutdown. There is a way out of it. You can get out of depression, but it's the hardest thing. And what it is, is it's starting to take action. I can already hear you. Yeah, Tony, I've tried that. Try taking action. It really is. You've got to start taking action, and doing some of the basic and simple things that I've already talked about. Doing like the identity poster. And every day, don't give it, don't look at it and say, oh, that's not true. Don't. You can't allow that negativity to creep in. And it will. I know it will. But that's why we do this every day. We look at our identity poster every day. So we can know who we are, that we are divine, that we are phenomenal, that we are talented, we are beautiful, we are whatever it is for you. You've got to do it every day. I've, I've seen some amazing women just totally devastated because of their depression completely shut down and to the point where all they do is want to get in their bedroom and just stay. They don't want to come out of the room because they've created this safety cave, they think. But it's still tearing them up. It's still causing them to break down even more. Now, there is no shame. There's no problem. If you're in this deep set of depression, to go get some medication to help get you started back on that right path. To start get you started back on your goals, your dreams, your desires. To be the person you want to be. The biggest key, and especially when it comes to others, is what I what I call exposure. You've got to get out and you've got to talk about your stuff. You gotta combat the lies. Accept the part that's yours, but combat the lies and say, no, this is not true. There's so much more going on then you even realize. But what is being said is not true. And the more you can do that, the more that you start to rise out and that you start to come out of this cave. You start to bring a little bit of light into this cave. This cave of depression. And you, you may not feel like you're ready to accomplish tackle the world or not yet,
but you start to bring some light in. Well, the more you talk, the more you do, you do your identity poster, you do these things which you've talked about, the more you start to then come out of the cave. And like I said, it's, it's a process, but you're no longer feeling this deep depression now. It's more kind of this unsurety. And we might start to shift back into this anxiety realm. Well, to fight anxiety, we need to have the information. So, we combine the information to combat the anxiety, along with the self-improvement, along with the motivational stuff, along with these other things that we don't feel like doing when we're in a depressed state. But as we start to do that, we'll slowly start to erase the anxiety. Slowly but surely it will wipe away. And then we become, we're, then we are back into that state of joy, of happiness, of excitement, of everything that we want, that we've been looking for. The highest forms of vibration, we come back into that. We are a lot more loving. Loving. We can give more. We have more to give. We can help lift and support and build other people. But it all comes to first being willing to step out of that cave of depression just a little bit and to share what's going on. And not to worry about what others think. I know it's hard, especially if it's somebody you really value their thoughts, their personal beliefs or opinions of you. I remember for years I used to hold back secrets of things because of somebody who I valued their, their thoughts of me. And once I finally said, you know what, I'm not, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I really came out into the light. And I was a lot happier. I actually realize now that a lot of things that were going on health-wise started to resolve themselves. There's a young lady that I've been working with for quite a while now. And she's kind of gone in and out of her cave. But the only thing that stops her from staying in the cave is as she does her identity poster, as she does those things that help to give her some confidence. Even just 30 seconds in the morning, she starts to bring some light. And then she starts to go from this depression to the anxiety. But then she slowly starts to remove the anxiety and then she started reaching out for better opportunities. And that can be you. No matter what, where you're at, no matter what your age is, no matter your health, no matter where you are at in life, you can come out and be a better you. I can be a better me. And that's what I, I'm hoping to help you do. So look around your situation right now. Are you where you want to be? Are you exhibiting the higher forms of vibration? The love, the joy, the happiness. Those things that build and allow you to be able to give and to share. Are you exhibiting those things that make you the person that you want to be? That when you wake up every morning you're like, yes, here we go, we're ready for another day. Or when you wake up, do you roll over and go, Oh, do I have to? Do I have to get out of this bed? There's people that need you. 
They need you to, to step out of your cave. They need you to realize your own potential. They need you to, to be the person that they want you to be and that you want to be. I know you don't like staying in your bed all day long. I know you don't like limping through life and thinking that all's going to be well, when in actuality, every day you're contemplating, why am I here? Why do I want to stay alive? Why do I care? Let me credit you and say thank you. Thank you so much for holding on and still holding on. Because that's the part of it, is just to believe that tomorrow or someday is going to be better. Now, I want you to, to realize the world needs you. They need you right now. They need you more than ever. This world is full of hate and anger and resentment and depression and anxiety and stress and overwhelm. But we can rise above that and you can rise above that. I've helped many people, men, women, children, to rise up, to actually get out of these states of depression, to find confidence, to find a surety, to find belief in themselves, and to find this love, joy, and happiness. And when you're f functioning at that level, when you have the love and the happiness for life, you have so much more to give. I would love to help you on your journey. Please contact me. You can reach out through TonyRoten.com. You can contact me through Facebook or private message. Your information is absolutely confidential. Unless you allow me to share it, I will not share it with your name. The situation, the stories, that it helps to show encouragement and lift other people, to show that there's possibility, to show that somebody can go from suicidal tendencies to somebody even attempting suicide to completely coming out of it and being a whole and a real person. I'd love to help you on this journey. You don't have to do this alone. This is my calling. I've stepped into this fully so that I can help you. And I want to. Don't allow finances to hold you back. You owe it to yourself and to the world to be the best you. You are amazing. Believe it. Please contact me so we can help you accomplish your dreams, your goals, your desires. Function at the highest energy levels possible. The world needs you. I know it. I believe it. And I hope you believe it too. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.